Y'all, <laughs> I've got no idea what's going on in the gaming industry this year. We've got community-made projects being shut down, games that were overhyped to the moon being shut down, and I thought that was going to be where the story ends, but I'll be damned, it's not. As a lot of you know, Crows ended up announcing that they were shutting down their servers, and from the sound of it, it's because they did things to completely have the community turn against them. And it was a battle royale. What did they expect was gonna happen? Well, the same situation happened with this other game we're talking about today, and even though it doesn't surprise me, it still sucks that this happened. Today, get ready to press F to pay respects as we talk about Super People 2. And if you enjoy what you see today, be sure to sub to the channel. Okay, let's continue. For those that don't know of Super People, let me catch you up to speed real quick. Super People is an early access battle royale game developed by South Korean studio Wonder People and published by Wonder Games. Take control of a super soldier, each with their own unique skills, and survive until you are the last one standing. This game was essentially compared to PUBG just about every chance it got but was usually followed up with but better and exploded out the gate with over 40k people playing it when it first released. Even though my time with the game was shorter than a child's attention span, it wasn't a bad experience and I completely understand why people gravitated to this battle royale. Apparently, it didn't keep people attracted to the game as Wonder People posted this to their Steam page recently. Unfortunately, though a lot of your support and love, we will have to terminate early access of Super People 2 as of August 21st. We have tried hard to do the balance patches and to make efforts for changes consistently, however, the number of users is continuing to decrease. Due to the game characteristics of Battle Royale, if the number of users decreases, the matching time increases, and matching cannot be fair, so we cannot provide the fun gameplay that we want. There are going to be about three different ways that I'm going to approach this, okay? First, regardless if you're a fan of the game or not, this leaves a lot of talented developers without jobs. I mean, South Korea is one of the most competitive countries in the world when it comes to video games, so I can imagine they're always needing workers, but mostly needing those who can develop well enough to outshine the competition. Second, this was a battle royale. What did they think was gonna happen? Ambitious as it may be, it's a gamble for any studio, big or small. Look at how many battle royales that are out right now that not only have constant updates, but provide constant content to their player base. Apex Legends, Warzone, Fortnite, PUBG, all four of them do what I just mentioned, and they do it well enough to keep people around. Now take those four and compare them to the battle royales of either the indie scene or the AAA scene, and you'll see that a lot of the battle royales 95% of the time fucking fail horribly. In fact, at one point, battle royales were seen as a quick way to earn some money. Yeah, just make a half-baked battle royale in Unreal, Unity, or Engine of your choice, get some recognizable people to play it, pedal it full of bullshit, and boom. You made away with more money than FaZe did with Save the Kids token. The genre is still used now, but I think it's mostly seen in a way that makes us think developers have nothing better to do with their game. Third, there was little to no reason to make a sequel to Super People. It's not even a sequel to the first game really, it was just a bunch of updates and fixes they deemed so big it warranted a second game. One that's mentioned is an update to some of the beginner unfriendly systems in the game and then goes on to mention that all characters start off at level 3, the max level cap for characters is now 12 instead of 27, so on and so forth. And I don't know if I'm right to assume this, but it sounds to me that in the hopes of attracting new players to the game, you alienated the core audience and undid a lot of their progression in the process. I mean, if we look at this comment right here, I think it kind of tells the tale perfectly. Hey devs, you killed your game because you didn't listen to us. Came back after months of not playing due to the slapping Super People 2 as your title months after Super People 1 came out. And changing slash removing what actually made this game good and talked about only to find out it's still the exact same. I actually tried to download it on Steam to see what it's like, but there's no longer a download link. So it seems like they're content with not having anybody download this game at all. For my final thoughts though, the gaming industry this year has probably been the worst it's ever been in a while. Like, not video game crash of 1983, but it's fucking getting there. Games being shut down, studios being shut down, and it doesn't seem like it's slowing down anytime soon. As far as companies adding a 2 to their games, I think it's completely unwarranted or unnecessary unless and I mean unless there's a major overhaul. However, I'm noticing companies using it more as a way of just polishing a turd and covering it in glitter. Activision couldn't be bothered to improve Warzone, so they repackaged it and shipped it as Warzone 2, 
while making it about the same or somehow worse. Even though Overwatch went to a free-to-play model, Blizzard promised these changes would warrant a reason for Overwatch 2 to exist but ended up downgrading the game in the process. These companies that do this sort of shit remind me of Mr. Krabs from the Spongebob movie who opened up the Krusty Krab 2 and then openly admit it was because of money. It's the unfortunate truth that we face and it's even more unfortunate about how often it works. As much as I want to say it was just natural circumstances that caused Super People 2 to fail, the studio was the one who pulled the strings and sent it into an early grave. If they would have listened to the feedback and engaged with their audience a bit more, I'm fairly confident that none of this would have happened and the game would have still been here today. Now I turn the mic to you. Let me know down below what you think about super people shutting down. Was the writing on the walls the entire time? Are you not bothered by it? Let me know. And while you're down there, go ahead and repackage that like button and re-release that sub button. Also, YouTube can show you my content free of charge. This is Sir Blackout signing off to wish the best of luck to the devs at Wonder People. Keep y'all's heads up. Uh, later.